Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I am looking extra studious today. I got my glasses on, so that means my IQ has gone up. I'm a little bit smarter today for your tip. <laughs> the last couple of tips that I've shared with you have to do with bringing a PDF file in as AutoCAD objects. Oh yeah, crowd pleaser for sure. Um, however, there's one great big huge caveat in that. If you happen to have SHX text in your PDF file, it does not come in as text. Oh no, it comes in as polylines. What? Let me show you what I'm talking about. What you see in front of you is the PDF file that we brought in as AutoCAD objects in the last tip. All right, and it looks great, looks fabulous. If I move my cursor down here, you will actually see that this happens to be a true type font. So it was ha it happily came in as M text, no problem. But this here, let me zoom in so you get a better look. This is SHX text, and it looks great. So if I don't need to do anything with it, I'm good to go. I don't, but if I need to add a word or subtract a word or whatever the situation is, well, okay, then I'm doomed. As I move in closer, you will see that it's telling me that these are actually polylines. Oh my goodness. So in that situation, I would probably what? Erase it and put it back on the, on the screen, right? Which is kind of defeating the purpose of bringing that PDF file in as AutoCAD objects, right? But fear not. There's nothing to fear because there's this very cool tool of recognized SHX text, okay? And it's gonna help you take what used to be text and convert it back over to M text again. Wouldn't that be wonderful, right? So we're, good, we're okay, it's gonna be all right. But I wanna make sure you really understand what's happening here. The first thing that you wanna do is you need to set it up properly. You need to go to recognition settings, all right? Promise me you'll do that part first so you get the right result and the best result. And when you go to recognition settings, there's kind of a lot in this dialog box. It's not as bad as it looks. The first thing you want to make sure is that you only select the fonts that are possible. All right, don't come down here and select all these fonts. The more fonts you select, the longer it takes. It's just that simple. Okay, all right. So if you don't think these are possibilities, don't pick them. You can add additional fonts if you need to. If you click on that, it goes to the fonts directory. If there's a font that's not listed that you know is in your drawing file, or maybe it's a custom font, no problem. You can easily select it and add it here. All right, that's easy enough. Once again, don't add them if you don't need to. All right, and what is this right here? This is, uh, you know, I don't remember what comp complex looks like, for example, and there's a highly high likelihood you might have complex, incidentally, in your file. Um, so you can actually type whatever you want to here. Oh, let's do like Catalyst, because we love Catalyst. All right, so you could, Put whatever sample text you want in there for some reason you have the ability to customize the sample text why not because it's fun what else have we got on here do you want the text to go on the current layer or is the same layer as geometry i would think you want it to go on the same layer as a geometry and then this is important the recognition threshold how close does it need to be how close does it need to match before it's considered a matching font all right, so 95% sounds good, but I just have to say, I have found that I have had problems when it's that high. I tend to pull it down a little bit. I like to make it a little bit less than 90, but that's up to you. It just seems to work a little bit better for me that way. <laughs> All right, so I like to use the best matching font. That means it will go through the list of all of the selected fonts it will pick the best matching one and that's what it's going to go with. All right, if you do not have this selected, well, then it will simply go from the top of the list through the bottom of the list, from the top to the bottom. So the order is important. As soon as it finds ones that falls in this recognition threshold, that's the one it takes and that's the one it runs with. So that means that you also have the ability to control the order, as you can see here. So if you choose, if you don't select use best matching font, you wanna make sure that you have the order of priority set up correctly. But I, I like use best matching font. All right. Now you're an expert at this dialog box. Okay. Now you are ready to go. Let's select the objects. I'm going to go now. Incidentally, do yourself a favor. Do not select objects that are not text. It doesn't like that, <laughs> at least in my experience. For example, I'm not going to pick that line because it's going to go, is that a great big letter I, a lowercase l? It's not going to know what to do. And actually, the only text I have an issue with is all this numbered text here. So I'm just going to select that. All right, that's all I'm going to go for. I think I got it all. 
So that's all I'm going to select and nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and hit an extra enter. I already have my settings set up the way I want. It will give you a nice update. You can see it's thinking about it. It's going through. It's processing it. That's, once again, it does take a little bit of time. That's why you don't want to have too many fonts selected. And look at that. 23 text objects were created. It only used one font. A Roman S. This is important because it lets you know what font it selected. That's good to know. And look, everything was converted. Well, what it says here, it kind of does the opposite. 0% was not converted, so that means 100% was converted. Why make it easy, right? All right, so I'm gonna say close. Don't ever turn this off. I think you need to know this information. You could say don't show this message again, but boy, I think it's an important message. Close, all right. So check it out, what a beautiful thing. And now I have all of these, now what is it? It is M text. All right, so the only thing left here, it would be really nice if this was paragraph text, right? So you could come in and you can maybe add more lines or you could, you know, move it back and forth like a paragraph. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that during the next tip. This tip's already getting a little long, but how cool is that? All right. So not to worry if you have SHX text in your PDF file, no problem. You can convert it over to M text. Oh yeah. I am here for you. Me and my higher IQ. All right. I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Ciao.